What is going on YouTube world? I am your brother Reza and this is KRT Life. KRT Life with a Y. And in today's vlog, I will be attempting to repair a drone. And the backstory on this drone is that one of my coworkers was taking this drone out to uh, take pictures of the Bud Light um, night that was on the side of our building for the Super Bowl. And in the process of doing it, he lost a signal with the drone and the drone crashed and it was lost for a few days, I want to say. A few days, maybe six, seven days, maybe a week. I don't know. I don't Maybe three days. I don't know. But anyway, uh, he told me what happened and I was like, oh man, I can find your drone because I'm just good at finding things. I don't know why. So I went out, I looked for the drone and lo and behold, I actually found the drone. When I found the drone though, it was for the most part intact except for this one little prop right here that cracked now well not really prop the uh i guess the the prop arm i guess is what that's called but anyway it cracked and i was like oh man i bet this thing could fly again if we uh fixed it so i am going to attempt to fix this drone now the battery seems to be operating even though it was sitting outside i just hit the button on the back and it's lighting up and doing what a normal smart battery is supposed to do so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this thing up, get all the dust out of it. I'm going to use some compressed air to clean the actual uh, motors uh, for the props. And then I'm going to try to take this thing apart carefully and re uh, use some epoxy or something to clean this to, well, not to clean, but to stick this arm back together and hopefully it'll stay and uh, we can get this thing flying again. So stay tuned. Now I got it cleaned up a little bit. I have the props removed. Uh, knocked a lot of the dust off. I haven't knocked uh, all of it off. And I have these screws removed. One, two, three, four, five, six screws removed. So now I'm going to pull the top case off from the rest of the body of the drone and clean the inside, make sure there's no water, make sure there's no sand, uh, and then try to epoxy this broken uh, prop arm back together. Look how much dust and sand got in here. Oh my God. It like got all over me when I opened the top case off. Apparently it sucked in a whole bunch of dirt and dust as it lay there running, I guess, after the crash. Now I'm dirty and I have to clean myself off a bit and then clean this up a bit. I mean, God, look at that mess. It's everywhere. That's what the inside of the spark looks like. I'm sure y'all seen it before now on the YouTubes. Okay, so we've cleaned off as much of the sand and stuff as we possibly could out of the motor and out of the inside of the drone, and there was a lot. But I also noticed that this battery works, as I showed you before. It's had some juice in it, so we're gonna see if the drone powers up. We're going to touch the battery. That sound kind of gritty. You know what? Let me blow this out a little bit quick. Let's try that again. That sounded better. Oh, fan is going. Ooh, lit up. Gimbal seems to be operating. It seems it's gonna do a gimbal self check. All right, well, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use Gorilla Glue or Super Glue or JB Whale, but I think I'm gonna use JB Whale to fix this broken arm. I got it where I'm feel confident that it's aligned properly, etc. So, gonna let this thing sit overnight. We are back here with this drone repair, and I'm pretty excited because it looks like the JB will put the uh, prop arm back on, will reattach the prop arm properly, and it looks pretty strong. Like I can hold it like this, so looks like this thing should fly and uh, now all I gotta do is clean up the top uh, lid part of the shell because I guess when it crashed it sucked in a bunch of dirt and moisture and all that kind of stuff but the moisture's gone and just the dirt is there so that needs to be cleaned ironically none of these props broke when this thing crashed the prop arm broke but the actual props didn't so all these props are in good condition I'm about to uh, clean them put them back in reinstall the lid and hopefully this thing will fly. I'm so excited.
the moment of truth. The drone is fixed. I put it all the way back together. We're gonna test it. We're gonna see if it flies. Uh, I didn't really have much time today at work to really like mess around with this. I was hoping Bilal, the actual owner of the drone, was gonna be able to come out and test it with me. But we're gonna make this quick because it's getting cold and it's windy. So we're gonna see if this works. Fingers and toes crossed. Hopefully the wind doesn't knock my tripod camera setup down. That would really be bad. But let's see what happens. Gonna power the thing up. Everything looks good. Props are running. Check that out. The actual props are running. Let's see what happens now. <sighs> Fingers and toes. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna try to take off. It's flying! Look at that! It's flying! <laughs> How about that? So you can fix the DJI drone after it's crashed and done all the other crazy things that this one has been through. Now I don't know how good this one is working. Can I just use the controller? without the uh, actual uh, app. So I don't know if it has any warnings or anything going on right now. Look at that thing hover. It's just going and going and going. I'm your brother Reza, KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. If you have any drone issues, it can be resolved with compressed air and epoxy and a little bit of uh, patience. That's all it takes. And I got this drone back in the air. It's flying around. Look at the thing go. It has all of its functionality. Um, yeah, it's just working. So that's a win. And um, I guess I'll conclude this vlog. I'm your brother Reza. This is Karate Life. Karate Life with the Y. You can like, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you have any drone issues, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'll try to walk you through it. But compressed air. Compressed air is like the savior of the drones. And all you need is compressed air. You can fix a lot of problems that drones have. Anyway, I got to go because it's cold. I'll see y'all later. Peace. We're back, Reza. We are back, bro. We are back in the air, bro. Wow. I told you. Yo, this guy's like the, the Muslim MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> These drones are actually a lot more durable than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to come down now. Like, I mean, it was out there for like a week, right? Yeah, dog, a week. It rained twice. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I mean, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Still I mean, work. Did it break? What we'll break? My fault. <laughs> exactly. But you know what's crazy? That the props didn't break, but the actual prop arm broke. The, the arm broke, but the prop stayed. Like, that's Stop. crazy, yeah. yeah. This guy did a great job. What is this? Uh, that is JB Will. Okay. Yep. Yep. Man, tell you, boy. A couple weeks ago, I flew my drone in the city to try to get a great shot at this building, and I lost it. It crashed. Two weeks later, the Muslim MacGyver, who is shooting this video, <laughs> finds the drone in 15 minutes. Then he fixes it. We're flying, baby. That's right. Carefree life. Carefree life. <laughs> Follow them. Get your drone fixed.